Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 6. In this part, we will cover a basic question on persistent volume and persistent volume claim. Without any delay, let's go to the question. Create a new persistent volume named WebPV. It should have a capacity of 2 gigabits. Access mode should be read write once. Host path slash vol slash data and no storage class name defined. Next, create a new persistent volume claim in namespace production named WebPVC. It should request 2 gigabit storage. Access mode should be read write once and should not define a storage class name. The PVC should bound to the PV correctly. Finally, create a new deployment. Web deploy in namespace production which mounts that volume at slash TMP slash web data. The pods of that deployment should be of image and jinx 1.14.2. We can see the question has three parts. First, we need to create a persistent volume. Then we need to create a persistent volume claim. Finally, we have to mount volume to an jinx deployment. First, go to the documentation. Search for PV and choose the second link because the second link is the correct one for solving this question. Choose this YAML file as reference. According to the question, we need to change the persistent volume name as WebPV. Storage class is not mentioned in the question, so we can remove that. Change the capacity to 2 GB. And host storage path should be slash vol slash data. Let's apply the YAML file. OK, persistent volume is created, so we completed the first part of the question. Let's check the available namespace. OK, we need to create production namespace. Next, we need to create a persistent volume claim. Choose this YAML file as PVC reference. Let's modify as per the question. Claim name should be WebPVC. Namespace should be production. We don't need storage class. And storage should be 2 GB. Let's apply the YAML file. OK, WebPVC is created. We have completed our second part of the question also. Go to the documentation for deployments. Click on the first link. Choose this YAML file as a reference.
Change the deployment name as Web Deploy. Add production namespace. In this deployment, we need to mount the volumes as per the question, so go to the documentation again. You can see a sample reference YAML file for mounting the volume. Copy the volume part and paste it under the spec. Change the claim name to Web PVC. Copy the volume mount part and paste it under the container section. Change the mount path to slash temp slash web data. Save and exit. Let's deploy. Oh, some error was found on the 20th line. Let's check. Okay, we missed mentioning volume in the spec section. Let's deploy again. Yes, deployment is successful. Let's wait for some time to run all pods. Yes, pods are running. Let's check whether PVC is bonded or not. Yes, PVC is bonded. Finally, we solved the question. This was a straightforward question but in the exam, we can expect some complicated scenarios related to PV and PVC. We will cover that in the later part of this series. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe.